Hey guys, Nick here with another Synaptic Sound video tutorial and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a progressive house stab synth in Citrus in FL Studio 12. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, stab is basically the term used for a very specific sound uh, used in a lot of progressive and um, sometimes trance tracks as well. For those of you who uh, are fans of that type of music, you'll probably be able to instantly recognize it once we're done creating um, the preset. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, add a citrus to the channel rack here. And we're going to change the preset to original. So we opened up an original blank preset and we're going to navigate to operator one we're going to be messing with one and two primarily so let's mess with the one first click on the one tab and uh, we're going to lower the harmonic from 2x to 1x and we're going to change it to a saw waveform so <clears throat> We're going to be changing the harmonic content of this original waveform. So what does that mean? Um, harmonic is a perfect multiple, a perfect integer multiple, uh, frequency-wise, of the original 1x waveform. So 2x is twice the frequency, 3x is four times, or three times the frequency, 4x is four times the frequency, so on and so forth. So in this oscillator tab here, this is where you change the harmonic content of the original waveform. If you click on that, it opens up this, uh, this uh, window here, and you've got your original 1x waveform. And each one of these columns represents the amount of that harmonic that's being added to the original. So this is 1x, this is 2x, 3x, 4x, so on and so forth. So we're going to be changing the even harmonics, and uh, it's going to make it sound a little more interesting. But first, I want to show you what it sounds like without that, so just the plain 1x. And uh, before I started this video, I created a little chord scheme here. I'm going to copy that, paste it into our piano roll for citrus and let's give it a, a listen so it's pretty plain pretty bland so let's go in here and change the harmonics a little bit I'm gonna crank up the 2x crank up 4x a little bit and then we'll do uh, 8x 16x 32x. So you can see it's a little bit more involved. So it's now adding all of those waveforms together to create a much more complex and uh, interesting sounding waveform. So let's play that one. So it sounds a little better. All right, we'll uh, leave that one be for now. Now navigate to operator two, lower the harmonic to one X for that one. Change the saw uh, shape, the waveform shape to saw. And uh, I'm gonna crank the tension up to about 28% and the skew up to 100%. And in that same oscillator tab for operator two, Let's change the 4x harmonic and move that all the way up. So you can see it's drastically changed the way this looks and sounds as well. So let's see what that sounds like. So sounds a little bit nicer. We'll let those two guys out. The next thing we want to do is navigate over to the FX tab. We're going to drop the chorus order to three, go over to reverb, turn that on, 
uh, click tempo and turn the color to warm W plus and then delay delay one turn that on and then uh, send the two operators through the FX tab and then out so that's what that did there and let's see what that sounds like <laughs> So starting to sound pretty nice, but uh, we're not done yet. Um, next, we're going to change the volume envelope of operator one and operator two. So navigate to operator one, click volume, click envelope, click this little pencil down here, and then right click and hold it down, and then swipe across to get rid of the original volume envelope. And then click again to put the pencil back. And uh, we're going to activate the volume envelope. And that's this button here. And click tempo. Drag the original volume point up. Right click to create another one. And drag it down to the bottom. And uh, uh, change the tension a little bit. Give it a little bit of curvature. <clears throat> so what is this doing here? This thing is telling the volume of operator 1 to start at 100% and then decay down to zero. Um, so we'll see what that sounds like. So it sounds a little bit different. Um, we're going to do that to operator two. So here's a trick. Click this arrow here while you're in operator one volume envelope tab. Click the arrow. Copy state. Click operator two, same arrow, paste state. So now the two are identical. And uh, all right. So <clears throat> the last thing we need to do is send operator one and two through a low pass filter. To do that, we need to open up these knobs here. So this is operator one to filter one and operator two to filter two. We'll get rid of these because we want it to go through the filter first and turn up the FX and output volume uh, in this filter row here. So it's sending both of them through the filter and then both of them are being added together and sent out. So it's not going to sound right because we haven't modified any of the filter parameters. So let's do that now. Click on the filter one tab. And we've got it set to low pass uh, and 2x. So a double low pass filter. And next we want to go to the cut envelope of that filter one tab. Same thing as before. Click the pencil, right click drag, get rid of all that, activate the envelope, click tempo, and click that arrow, and paste the same state as the volume envelope of the two operators into the cutoff envelope of the filter. So what is this doing? This is telling the cutoff frequency of the filter to start at 100% and then go down to zero in the same amount of time and at the same rate as the volume envelope of operator one and operator two. And it gives it a, a nice little effect. So let's see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good, but I think it could sound a little bit better. Uh, change the cutoff frequency knob right here. Play with that and see uh, if we could get it to sound a little bit nicer. So I think that sounds pretty good now. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I promised you earlier that I'd show you why we call this a stab. So uh, let's route this to mixer track one, go to insert one, 
We got a fruity limiter there. And we'll play it and see what it looks like in the fruity limiter. So you can see these sharp, uh, pointy looking stabs, that's what they call them. So um, that's the reasoning behind that. Uh, creates a really sharp type of volume signature uh, when you're looking at it in that kind of view. So that's about it. If you like the preset, be sure to save it. You can click this arrow here, say preset as, and you can save it to your uh, Citrus preset folder and access it and use it in a track if you want. Um, that about wraps it up. Uh, if you like this tutorial, check out the Synaptic Sound blog linked in the description below. There's a, a bunch of tutorials on that web page along with some music production tips and some other things. Um, we'll see you next time.